NFL Week 12 Power Rankings. So coming in at number 32, I have the Houston Texans. I'm not going to take time to explain this one. I think we all know this is the worst team in the league. At number 31, I have the Carolina Panthers. They were competitive basically till the end with the Ravens, but they couldn't pull off the upset win. At number 30, I have the Denver Broncos. They lost to a Raiders team that is a mess right now. This rush trade might go down as the worst in NFL history because this offense is just non-existent. At 27, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were on a bye. At 28, I have the Las Vegas Raiders. A nice overtime win for them on the road versus a division rival, but I still feel like they rebuild this team in the offseason, even though I feel like it's more on the coach, specifically the head coach, than the roster. Officer. At 27, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were competitive basically till the fourth quarter with the Bengals, but they couldn't pull off the upset win at home. At 26, I have the Cleveland Browns. They went into halftime tied with the Bills, but their offense couldn't keep up with the Bills offense in the second half and they lost. At 25, I have the Chicago Bears. Another heartbreaking loss for the Bears with just over a minute left. Down three, fields threw the ball a little high for Montgomery. It ended up getting intercepted and ending the game for the Bears with an L. At 24, I have the Los Angeles Rams. Rams, oof, how the mighty have fallen, how the Super Bowl champs have fallen. This Saints offense was non-existent up until this game where they played the Rams defense and then all of a sudden Andy Dalton goes off. They put up a ton of points and the Rams lose. Super embarrassing season for the Rams right now. At number 23, I have the New Orleans Saints. Like I said, this Saints offense finally woke up in their game versus the Rams. Andy Dalton had three tutties. He was 21 of 25, a really nice performance by him and this offense. At number 22, I have the Indianapolis Colts. Jeff Saturday, you have proved me wrong, sir. Oh my gosh, they were so close to pulling off possibly the upset of the year. They they were leading the Eagles for basically the whole game. Then they end up losing by one point because their defense cannot make that final stand. But still, a great a great performance, I want to say, by the Colts. I know there's no moral victories in the NFL, but come on, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool for the Colts. At 21, I have the Arizona Cardinals. Jimmy G shredded this secondary in the Cardinals' loss. Jimmy, he threw for four touchdowns, and it looked like guys in the secondary were pulling up not to make tackles on that Debo Samuel long touchdown run. I mean, there were a million opportunities for him to be tackled, and the secondary just didn't make them, or linebackers, I don't want to just call out the secondary, the whole defense, really. And a lot of this, in my opinion, comes down to Cliff Kingsbury, who had, who now has a losing record as the Cardinals head coach. I don't know why they gave him an extension earlier this year. At 20, I have the Green Bay Packers. I don't know how much Aaron Rodgers' thumb is bothering him, but he was missing throws badly in their loss versus the Titans. At number 19, I have the Detroit Lions. They absolutely dominated the Giants for their third win in a row. Really impressive stuff going on right now for the Lions. At number 18, I have the Atlanta Falcons. A nice win for them versus the Bears at home. I like how they stick to what they're actually good at, and that is running the ball. They didn't try to get away from that, which they've done in the past, like the Chargers game. They lost that game late because they got away from the run that was working all game. I don't know why, but this game, they actually run the ball, and we're getting insane yards per carry. So Atlanta, just stick to running the ball, and that's going to win you games. At number 17, I have the Los Angeles Chargers. Such a heartbreaking loss for them versus the Chiefs. I mean, Justin Herbert played his heart out, but I think we all knew once the Chargers scored that late, Eight touchdown in the fourth quarter we were like they left too much time on the clock Mahomes is going to come down and score a game-winning touchdown and that's exactly what happened at number 16 I have the New York Jets an absolutely disastrous Sunday for them Zach Wilson played absolutely horrible the offense only put up three points this defense held the Patriots to three points and then in Zach Wilson's post-game press conference he said that no he doesn't really feel responsible. That's paraphrasing. Go watch the press conference or go watch the video that I just put out about Zach Wilson because now Robert Sala is not committing to Zach Wilson as the starter this upcoming week. At 15, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They were on a bye. At number 14, I have the New England Patriots. A really impressive defensive performance for them in their win versus the Jets. They only gave up three points and that is their third win in a row. At number 13, I have the Washington Commanders who are now six and five after starting the season one and four. Pretty impressive stuff for them. At number 12, I have the New York Giants. They were absolutely destroyed by the Lions and a ton of key players were injured during this game, which is going to be really bad for the Giants because the rest of their schedule, the rest of the season, their schedule is really, really tough. At number 11, I have the Seattle Seahawks. They were on a bye. At number 10, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. Another good game for Joey B minus those two interceptions. I am a little concerned about this defense though still. At number nine, I have the San Francisco 49ers. Jimmy had a Himothy performance with four tutties. I'm sorry, that was like so cringe, but I couldn't help it because Jimmy and Himothy, you know, they rhyme and I just wanted to make a rhyme there, but really a great performance by him and a great performance by this defense as well. At number eight, I have the Tennessee Titans. I don't care how much the Packers have struggled this season. Going into Lambeau on a short week and winning is always impressive. At number seven, I have the Minnesota Vikings. 
what happened to the Vikings? What happened, Vikings? How did you lose 40 to 3 to the Cowboys? Shout out to James, the GOAT. I'm still just absolutely bamboozled by the Vikings' performance on Sunday, or lack therefore of a performance. I just want to say I was so wrong about that game. I was so wrong. My prediction for that game was just so wrong. Vikings, you let me down. At number six, I have the Baltimore Ravens. They won versus the Panthers, but that game was way closer than it should have been. At five, I have the Miami Dolphins. They were on a bye. At number four, I have the Buffalo Bills. They won versus the Browns, but I feel like this team really needs a super duper dominant win to totally get their swagger back. Yes, I think they're playing better, but I feel like they need a win where they just absolutely dominate each and every quarter to really return to the team that we saw play earlier this season. And number three, I have the Dallas Cowboys. What an outstanding win for them on the road versus the Vikings, putting up 40 points. Their defense only giving up three points. Dak had a really amazing bounce back game. Like shout out to Dak. That's the way to bounce back after that loss versus the Packers. Tony Pollard went absolutely absolutely insane. He had 80 rushing yards, over 100 receiving yards, and two tutties. At number two, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. If you're an Eagles fan, I know you wish that game wasn't that close, but it's a nice comeback win. They were down for the majority of the game, basically the whole game versus 18. They were supposed to destroy, but they stuck with it. They kept their heads down, kept working, and they were able to pull off the comeback. I think it says a lot about the team when they're able to, you know, not get nervous when they're down versus a team they're supposed to be destroying and are able to come out with the victory on the road too. And at number one, we got a new team at number one, a team that has been sitting at number two for the majority of the year. But I felt like, hey, let's give them a chance to defend that number one spot. And that is the Kansas City Chiefs. A beautiful game-winning touchdown drive by Patrick Mahomes. I feel like we're just getting too used to these Mahomes game-winning drives. I feel like we're taking them for granted because he just does it so often. He's definitely looking like an MVP finalist this season. I wanna know your guys' top five teams in the league right now let me know in the comments down below appreciate you watching till the end and oh yeah if you're still watching please subscribe we're literally less than 50 away from 30,000 subs at the time of recording this appreciate you guys peace